live stand up here in a couple of minutes, so let's talk to our friend Nora Frost here. You've dabbled in some comedy yourself. Morning, yes, it sounds like the dark arts, doesn't it? Dabbling in comedy, but no, it's Every time right. I thought about even thinking about doing something like that, I get so intimidated by it. It's a lot of fun. You know, I bet you'd be so good at it. Everyone knows Ernie Zuniga is very hilarious, very jovial. So is, as is Monica. So, you know, I think that you guys need to come. Jessica, Sean, would be great. Perhaps, perhaps. Tell us about this weekend because this is something neat that you guys are doing. Sure. It's this Saturday at Tri-Point. They're on 281 in St. Mary's. It's comedy for a cause, a comedy for the fun of it. Very fun. Healthy, fun. Okay. Yes. It's going to be fun and entertaining. It's going to be clean comedy. Great. Bring out your family. Uh, it's going to be helping... 35, more than 35 nonprofits here in San Antonio, including YMCA yeah. San Antonio. Um, really excited. There's some other good charities Red Cross, Salvation Army, Heidi Search Center, okay. Eva's Heroes. Yeah, so a lot of good folks are getting involved in this clean comedy show that's going to be Saturday. I'm always fascinated by comedians because there's so many funny people out there, but the ones who can do clean comedy, I would imagine as a comedian, that's that's got to be tricky. It can times. be, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, after you figure out it's difficult to purchase a sensor button, yes. uh, you know, you kind of clean up your act, but it's good. That's true. Um, give us an idea. I mean, what this kind of comedy do you do? Or is it all, like, based on family events or personal experiences? Or sure. Or, you know, current events? Those yeah, things? yeah, yeah. There's actually going to be five comedians involved. Uh, one of them is actually a prop comedian. Ooh. So that's going to be good. Kind of like San Antonio's own Carrot Top. So he's a lot of fun. Tom okay. Leach. Um, we've got, you know, a, mo a mom of three. So she kind of does oh, family. The two single ones that are on the circuit, Adrian and myself, and Bob kind of does, um, you know, retiree jokes and whatnot. He's hilarious. Okay, good. Um, yeah, so it's good. Um, it's going to be three shows to pick from, four, six, and eight. So, you know, in case you can't uh, make it at a certain time of day, we are making it flexible. $12 tickets available online. Very flexible. Okay, and you mentioned the three shows. There they are right there. Comedy for the fun of it. Uh, this Saturday night, uh, 3233 North St. Mary's. The website, doortodoorcomedy.com, if you'd like more information. And Nora mentioned Adrian is here, so he's going to take us a break and perform. Adrian Lucio is going to perform for us right now, and he'll take us to break. Adrian. Morning. How are we doing? <laughs> Good to see you guys. Woo! Awesome. I woke up early this morning for once. And the only place uh, I told myself I like being late to is work. So uh, that's, that's great. That's really great. Um, one of the things uh, my dad kept on telling me about was uh, our generation, how the generation I live in right now, how we are getting lazy. He's like, you guys are getting lazy because we are. You know, our generation, we're getting so lazy. We don't even knock on doors anymore. We text you when we're outside. <laughs> Am I right? You show up to a friend's house. It's like, hey, I'm outside. Come on out. Right? L-O-L-O-M-G. Sing. You always have that one Captain Obvious in the front seat. It's like, hey. Bro, they don't seem to be answering. Why don't you go knock on the door? It's like, no, hold on, let me text them again. <laughs> right? It's everywhere. And my niece, uh, she abbreviates everything, which makes it hard. She got in trouble in school the other day for uh, texting in class. And uh, uh, I, you know, texted her. I said, hey, what's this note about you uh, getting in trouble in class? She says, she says this, A-M-A-I-A-A-D-B-E-Y-R-T-T-Y-L-K. Exactly. I was like, question mark? And she's like, as far as I'm aware, don't believe everything you read. I'll talk to you later. Kim. Okay. <laughs> it's crazy. They abbreviate everything, you know? And I had to teach my dad the other day how to send text messages. We had that little classroom, that little, uh, you know, living room course. And uh, he asked me, he's like, son, what does I-D-K mean? I'm like, I don't know. He was like, yeah, nobody else seems to know either. Oh, my goodness. And uh, the hardest one for him, though, was LOL. It blew his mind. He was like, what does LOL mean? I'm like, it's not LOL. It's LOL. It means laugh out loud. He says, okay, cool, because I get that a lot. <laughs> so I decided to test him on it one day, and I sent him one of my jokes. And he sent me back, I will LOL out loud. <laughs> So let me get this right back to you, we're laughing out loud, out loud. It's ridiculous. Oh man, my dad is crazy though. He's getting older though, man, he's getting older. Uh, he recently bought an RV, uh, not to travel with, just so that he doesn't forget where he parks when he goes to Walmart. So, thank you so much, you guys, thank you so much, appreciate it.